Alright everybody, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Framing Dolls Demo. So we're gonna be checking it out. I guess it's supposed to be like an adventure. I think you're supposed to cast spells. That's supposed to be your dead pet bunny or something. Confused still, but we'll figure it out. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Do do do. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Looked interesting enough. I just don't read too much of the thing before I start playing it, so I'm spoiling myself. Wake up, son! Ah, the computer's alive. Oh, we got an email. Nice. Get up! How do I make her get up? Wake your ass up! Okay, we're going. There she goes. God, she wakes up kind of a little bit bug-eyed. <laughs> Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Right, I guess we just checked the email. Baydawsdon'tjinxit.com They think you murdered the missing boy. No time to explain. Just get out of the house. They're coming for you. I'm at my wit's end, and you will be too. Remember, three equals four twice. What? That's confusing. Three equals four twice. We gotta get out of here, son. What, boy? I haven't killed anyone, have I? Yesterday is like one big indistinct blur to me. I just can't remember a single thing about it. Oh. Who sent this? Am I being framed for murder? Oh, why can't I remember what happened yesterday? Who's coming for me? The police? I should get out of here and prove my innocent. Do I even have an alibi? In a sense. There sh must be a logical explanation, and I shouldn't panic, not just yet. Three equals four twice, what does that mean? I'm not much of a mathematician, but I don't think that was on the times table I studied in school. So what can it possibly mean? What is going on? Oh, my head feels heavy. Father will kill me if I'm in trouble. Maybe it's a prank email. I can't take any chances. Get out of here. Run. Take the bunny. Father never liked my best friend, so he had to... The idea of buying me the stuffed toy to replace him. It's cute, in a creepy kind of way, but it's no substitute for Dink, that wonderful little rabbit of mine. Dink's empty grave was dug under the lofty yellow tree that sits in the middle of the garden, and I'll often go and pick flowers to leave for him there. I think about him every day. Father told me he ran away, but I know that he'd never do that. What hurts me the most is that I never got the chance to say goodbye to you, Dink. But I'd never want to say goodbye to you. Might need that piggy bank money. V equals four twice. It's empty! Oh, that's sad. Ah, oh, my comfy bed, and look at that, it's actually pretty neat and tidy for a change, because you slept on the cover, son. Oh, I wish I could have gone to your concert. It looked like a truly enchanting event. The talented Panic State Peaches were the supporting act, too. I have all of their albums somewhere. Let's open this. We might need this. That's strange. I thought there were more clothes than this. Where are the rest of them? Oh well, I honestly didn't like most of them anyway. Yes, let's take that. We might need that. At least my satchel is still here. It'll come in handy to store things I need. If you want to access the inventory... Oh whoa, she broke the fourth wall real quick. Over the course or over the top right corner of the screen. And the satchel menu will appear. Just click on it to look inside. Alternatively, if you prefer to use the keyboard, you can access the inventory directly by pressing the I key. You will be able to examine, use, or read items in the inventory. Just as you can with the objects in the environment throughout the game. Two interaction icons will appear- Oh god. Sometimes appear side by side. When that happens, either left click or right click on them with your mouse. The tool icon is to use an object. The magnifying glass is to examine an object. The speech bubble to talk, and the book to read. You can also drag and drop inventory items into the scene. Finally, to access the menu at any point, you can press the escape button. So this is a point and click adventure from hell. Oh god. I hate when you have to combine items and stuff. That's toxic. We're screwed. What a beautiful day this is. You can just about make every edge of the woods from here, but you get a better view from the back of the house. I know a shortcut that takes you straight into town. It saves a lot of time. Well, we might need that. What if I didn't pick up the satchel? It probably wouldn't have let me proceed without picking up the satchel. 
Another of Mother's creations. I wonder if this is a real place. I'd love to explore it one day. It looks so tranquil. The head of the family. It's our bust of Charles Day Darwin, a true hero of mine. What a weird bust to have. Good day, Mr. Darwin. How are you feeling today? You're ra looking rather stone cold this beautiful sunny day. It is indeed a spectacular day. The brimstones and the commas will be taking full advantage of the wide array of Florida flora in your garden, flying from plant to plant. Conversation? You could talk? How is that possible, I wonder? Because we're psycho? It is completely normal now for inanimate objects to enter conversation. But living people are, or is my confusion worse than I thought? I don't mean to disrespect you, of course, Mr. Darwin. No offense intended. No offense taking, Miss Bay. Of course I could talk. I've always had the power of speech. Perhaps you simply never felt ready to listen. Ah, I remember well when you first took a key interest into the origin of the species. And I knew that then that you were a kindred spirit. You spent some time researching volpes, volpes, and mele meles. Nocturnal creatures who would come to visit your garden when everyone was sleeping. The common fox and the badger in everyday parlance. But I'm aware that I don't need to translate the Latin for your benefit, Miss Bay. You left out food out for them whenever we had cold, bitter winters. And you'll leave bowls of food uh, bowls of water when the summer sun was blazing. Such a kind child. Dink wasn't too happy about that, though. He always hid from the big animals. Why did this change? But yes, I still- Oh, that's her. But yes, I still do that now, even when Father scolds me for having the kind of empathy that he never shows. He says I should focus on improving myself, whatever that means. You look troubled, dear. Would you like to talk about it? I'm not exactly sure where to start. I can't remember what I did yesterday. It's all complete blank. As if the whole day was has been erased. This morning I woke up on my bed, but I can't. I felt different. I can't explain it. If I can believe the email I've received, then there are people, some people, perhaps the police, coming for me. Although I'm not able to confirm that, it seems that they think I've murdered a missing boy. But there isn't or wasn't anyone reported missing, not as far as I know. And this is a small town. Everyone knows everything about everyone who lives here. It could be a prank, but I have a feeling deep inside that says I've done something. Don't know what. That is an unpleasant predicament. Indeed, I quite agree. But what is the last thing you are able to remember before the confusion started to set in? Hmm, I remember being out in the woods picking flowers. At least, I think that's what I was doing. After that, my mind's a total blank. I suggest you try retracing your steps. Go back into the woods, as there's a chance that the location could trigger a memory or reveal a clue. Bring you one step closer to solving the p this particularly perplexing conundrum of yours. That being said, perhaps your mind has purposely locked away these memories. Dark memories. Such things sometimes happen to protect us from events that are too hard for us to deal with. Are you sure that you're ready to remember? Ready or not, I simply have to remember. I don't have a choice. I have to know that I'm innocent. If I really am. But what if something sin more sinister has happened? Harbinger. No, there's no question about it. I have to find out the truth. However difficult or dreadful it may turn out to be. I know something is wrong. I can feel it. In that case, be vigilant. And remember to use all your senses, since your eyes can only see, ever see so much. Keep your wits about you. Always look over your shoulder and trust your instincts. You're stronger than you think, and I'll always be proud of you for that. Your bravery and determination will guide you well, Miss Bay. Thanks for the advice. Perhaps we can chat again when we have more favorable circumstances. I have so many questions still to ask you. I would like that very much. There isn't much opportunity for conversation being stuck here on this pedestal all day. A reminder? Oh god, no. Wait, I got that. Okay. What we got in here? Might as well... Even now, Father rewards me to stay away from this cabinet. He once told me the toys are evil and possessed by demons that they most likely try to murder me. Jesus. He thinks I'm so naive, as if I'd really believe that the dolls could just spring to life, let alone that they are all evil. 
If all that were true, I'm sure he would have locked the cabinet away and not just left it out in the open. That looks pretty evil, whatever that is. I do know some of them are worth a bit of money, but why didn't he just tell me that? The fact that he didn't, it boils down to a lack of trust and a form of punishment. He just didn't want me to play w playing with dolls. And why'd he buy you that one doll then? Ah, Daphne doll. She's seen better days, that's true. She has those thick black button eyes that look straight into your soul. I would be surprised if she knew exactly what I was thinking. Hmm. Ah, Daphne. Oh, same. Uh, I'm sorry. Some of these toys look really unhappy, but I can't blame them. They've probably never been loved. One of the toys is missing too, but I can't remember what used to fit on the gap in that shelf. I think I might know. It's probably the one he gave you. I used to wish that it were a real life-size rocking horse so I could sit on it and pretend that it was my faithful seed. I barely even dared to touch it though. Father would have been furious if I had broken it. I wonder if I can grab that bunny from my room. Oh god, what's up, girl? What are you doing? Well, that's not creepy at all. Yes. Nope, dancing dolls magically appearing on the land... on the landing all the time. I must be going mad. But perhaps I'm just in a state of shock after reading that email, now that I'm seeing things. Indeed, not things I choose to see at any rate, but not wholly unsurprising considering I've lost a day of memories. I wonder when you lose part of your memory, do you lose part of your mind? If that's the case, maybe that mental void produces a sort of madness, which may be a coping mechanism. Is it any harder or more disturbing to believe that a day's gone missing than what's happening to me right now? If I'm hallucinating, then the world around me is compellingly real, that I'd never be, and I'd be able to tell. But I'm calm and rational, and I don't feel crazy, and I'm sure this isn't a dream. Hello, I'm Daphne! And she talks too. She's never done that before. Give me one moment, Daphne. Okay. I just want to see if there's if I can move him. All right, Daphne. What's up, talk? No, I do not need her at the moment. Not with that attitude. But I didn't talk to her. Oh, I glitched. I'm an idiot. Teleporting rag doll. Hello, Daphne. How did you get out of the cabinet so quickly? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Okay, are you an illusion? No, of course I'm not. You're just completely mad. Hmm, do you remember how I used to play with you all the time when I was little? You were always one of my favorite dolls. That's not quite how I remember it. You used to throw me against the wall a lot, didn't you? Now that was very nice. Your mother had to sew one of my eyes back onto my head. That hurt intensely. A sharp needle repeatedly piercing my head. I'm sorry, Daphne. I was only a child and while well, you were just a doll. I'm sure mother was only trying to help you. You, just because I'm made of scraps of material doesn't mean I don't have feelings. I didn't realize, I'm genuinely sorry. Ha ah, ha you're crazy, Bay. But you're apologizing to a doll. Whoa, well, wait a minute. You may be just a doll, but if you have a consciousness and personality <coughs> and a lifelike voice, so I can't predict how you're going to respond. It's not pre-programmed. It comes directly from you. Therefore, I suggest that I'm not so crazy after all, but that you are really quite rude. Oof! Um, I should probably leave you alone. Maybe Father was right. Hi, I'm Daphne! I know. Alright, we did it. We talked to her. Alright, guys. Back to the regular pre-programs, or whatever, regularly scheduled something-something. Bye! Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Bong, 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 bong. Darn you for waking me up every hour. Why are you here, up here anyway? I'm sure you'd be much happier down in the hallway. I know I would be happier because I'd get more sleep. It's locked. Ever since Mother left, Father always keeps it locked. He's probably in there now. I shouldn't disturb him. I wish I could talk to her. God dang it. I'm so frustrated. Oh well. 
So when you're given a speech bubble, don't leave the room because then it won't let you talk to her and you miss a dialogue. No, it's not. I don't think it's gonna matter too much to our story, but I wish I could read it. Ah, it's a shower. Nice. How strange. Father must have left the shower on. Well, let's turn it off. The seam should clear out. Yeah. A plethora of items we can use. That's better. I can see now. Hmm. Oh, God. What the heck? Oh, that was me. Oh, she's freaking out too. Scary. What was that? Who's there? It's me. Yeah, it definitely looked like her moving in the mirror. No, I'm not looking at that again. That was seriously freaky. Agreed. Yes, take that with us. Wait, no. Oh, I thought I was trying to access my inventory. Gotcha. Um, yeah, this is a family toilet. I'm not going to look inside it. Okay. Although I expect a spotless, of course. Sure. Fishy, fishy. Happy fish will never know what it's like to drown in the water. I wonder why they're so keen to reach the surface then. Maybe some mythical creature has granted their wish to reach the surface and breathe for fresh air. Giving them legs and wings so they can soar through the sky forever free. Or maybe it's just painting. Probably that one. I cleaned my teeth this morning. Good job. I mean, you didn't. I think. Yeah, you definitely didn't. Um, no, I don't want a bath right now, especially not with that creeper apparition hat in the mirror. Legend has it that when you take a shower or bath and you use these magical products, you end up smelling like a tropical rainforest or dewy meadow of wildflowers all day long. They make me sneeze. I know that much. Oh, same thing. Okay, same thing. I don't think there was anything in here except for that creepy thing. Alright, whatever. We have collected zero items. We're doing so good. What's up, Ducky? And here's another escapee from the cabinet. Weird. I could say more about it, but I won't. Does he want to talk to me? Guess not. Some of these hitboxes are kind of weird. Hmm, it's jammed. Maybe Father's in here wants privacy. Seems a bit extreme to block the door, though. He, even he doesn't usually do that. Why does she just assume he's in every room of the house? Witherington End. It's a hospital of sorts, I think you could say. Mother painted the picture. But what was going through her mind when she created it? Hanging here on our wall, it only serves as a constant reminder of how far away she is. Inside those walls all alone. I still don't know all the details because Father refuses to talk about it. The only thing that was noticeably out of the ordinary is that she started acting erratically just before she left. It all happened just, um, after what? I think it was when I confided in her about something. I wonder if it has anything to do with everything that's happening now. I can't really say since that's another part of my memory that's gone missing. She's got some weird elbows. Is she a doll? After I had that heartfelt conversation with Mother, I'm pretty sure I went into the woods to hide something important. But what was it? And where exactly did I hide it? Why can't I remember all these things? This all happened months ago. Interesting. Was it the boy's dead body? Father's umbrella. I wonder what happened to mine. You left out in the woods. Father's favorite old waterproof hat and coat. Can we take them with us? Can we take anything? I feel like I'm forgetting objects. Or I'm not finding objects that I need. Is that your mama son? This is great grandmother Elizabeth Dawes. She was considered a wicked witch. By some more narrow minded people in town and held to be a great healer by others. Her herbal, her herbal remedies became famous, or should I say infamous, because they were sometimes wildly unpredictable. I don't recall Mother saying that any deaths were directly attributed to her bruising potions, though. 
which is maybe more a result of luck than anything else. She used to talk a lot about her when I was younger. How I, her grandmother had taught her numerous recipes for secret concoctions that had been passed down over generations in the family. Mother was going to pass that knowledge on to me, one, two, one day, but I suppose that will never happen now. I'll probably edit in that part where Daphne's supposed to talk to me, since it's pretty near the start. Ah, uh, what's outside the window? Something terrifying. Yes. There it is. Ah, yes. Point at me. Me. I murdered the boy. And forgot about it. Hmm. Unsettling. Wow, she looked exactly like me. Yeah. <laughs> Music went away. Bling, bling, phone call. Can I go get the phone or? Nah. It's making me anxious. What are we doing here? Cuckoo. What is that thing? It's kind of terrifying. Okay. Oh, I don't remember this ever working. I don't think I've ever seen the cuckoo come out. Oh, how sweet, but inaccurate timekeeping. Oh, well. Wish I could have picked up the phone. Beep. Find the time. Find the time. Oh, I have to get out of this house, but what does that mean, find the time? The time for what? The time to remember? It's not as if I chose to forget. And who are you, mysterious voice in the machine? Friend or foe? I mean, the time's on there. What do you mean, find the time? You find the time. Oh, I clicked off the game. It's locked, that's weird. It's never locked. Perhaps I can leave through the back door instead. Okay. How do we do that? Where is the back door? Mother used the kitchen a lot when she was concocting her strange potions. It got quite messy in here when she was hard at work. But she always... She was always very thorough when it came to cleaning up her, after herself. No, I'm not feeling thirsty right now. Nope, I'm not doing the dishes, just nope. Okay. Not hungry at the moment, but thanks for the offer. Who am I talking to? Me, because you've been breaking the wall the whole time. Where's she going? When I was much younger, I used to stand on one of those stools here and bang those pots as hard as I could with a wooden sp spoon. I used to pretend they were a jump kit and imagine that I was performing in front of a crowd of thousands. Come to think of it, maybe that's why I was never real encouraged to learn a real instrument. Sure. That's what you really think. Find the time. There's time. Mother has always loved her art. She's especially keen of, on judicial stuff like this. Mother has always... Oh, okay. What about this? Whoa! Sick. I've never seen that before. Just what was Mother up to down here? I don't know. Some kind of ritual of sorts? These smell amazingly good. They remind me of the wild herbs that I used to go, to go and pick from the woods nearby. There's a thing here. This curious spell is promising to make time travel possible. Could it be one of Mother's enchantments? I wonder if it actually works. Okay. Hear these words, a rhyme for thought. Heed the wish within my mind. Send me to where I will find what I seek in place and time. There's some small blueprint at the top or the bottom. Whether you wish to travel forwards or backwards in time, it's important to remember you'll eventually need to return to your present time. This spell assumes you have crafted 
a supply of both futuristic and historic thyme-fed potions. I wonder if my mother used this enchantment. She used to disappear quite often from what I can remember. Well, that seems important because it said, FIND THE TIME! Even during the worst of storms, the worst storms of winter, we'd always find mother sat working here. This wood burner kept the room warm. Dink used to like spending time with her in here too. Okay. Find the time! That voice. Okay, we can go out this way, I'm sure. It's locked! Psych! I have a feeling that this will come in handy later on in the game. Okay, thank you. Oh, we're getting out of here, son. We're escaping into the woods. Yes. Gosh. Winch on. It's, uh, it's very unusual to not hear it's their mel melodic chimes, but there's no breeze at all today. Everything is eerily still. Yeah, something bad's about to happen. Foreshadowing. Well, we can't go these ways, I guess. Is she gonna talk to the chime again? Uh oh. Oh, that's where Dink died. Dink, no! My Dink. Uh oh. Is that the homie? It is. Come here, Dink. What are you doing, dog? He's freaking out, son. He's been possessed by the devil. Uh-oh. Yay! Dink acquired. That's exciting. We brought him back from the dead. I don't understand. You you died, didn't you? How are you here? I've always been here, Bay. Waiting for the right time. A time when you need me the most. You just couldn't see me before now. Oh Dink, I've missed you so much. I can't believe it. I don't I don't even care how this is possible. I'm just so happy you're here. And I need you. I've always need you. I'm I'm not dreaming, am I? Oh my Dink. I'm just as real as you are, Bay. And I don't think I'm imagining you. I miss you so much. More than words can describe. So tell me where you've been all this time. What happened to you? Uh oh. Backstory. It all started one day when you were at school. There was a terrible thunderstorm that turned the whole sky pitch black and blotted out the sun. Your mother was out, so I was spending time, some time in the study with your father. Since he was busy working, I tried my best to keep out of his way, but a crash of thunder made me suddenly jump up and... I accidentally knocked over a pile of paper, sending them all flying around the room. Your father got up, bellowed angrily, and chased me... at me and chased me out in the garden in the howling wind and rain. Dark clouds were swirling around in the sky above, and another strong rumble of thunder struck and... almost deafened me. Then suddenly every round, then everything around me suddenly became quiet and still. Your mother eventually found me shivering under the old yew tree. She carried me into the conservatory, placing me on the table. I was so weak, but her gentle touch and calming voice were a great comfort to me. So I relaxed and closed my eyes. While I lay on the table, she began softly chanting strange words and placing lit candles all around me. A bright white filled my mind, and I, when I finally opened my eyes, it felt like I was in the middle of a lucid dream. Everything appeared motionless, yet, at the same time, it felt bright and warm. I saw your face, but you weren't able to see me. I called out your name so many times, but you couldn't hear me either. And then today, I was astonished when you really did see me. It was like waking from a dream that I thought would never end. My eyesight may be poor, but I know the shape of your body, your smell, and I remember your voice. I'll never forget those things. 
Oh, Dink, I'm sorry you had to go through all that. You must have been really scared. But I'm glad that Mother found you in time. Why didn't she tell me you were alive and well? It was the most sensible thing to do under the circumstances. She thought it best not to tell you. I still remember that day so well. The storm had stopped by the time I got home from school. And I looked forward to seeing you. You all always used to greet me with a shake of your tail from behind the patio doors. But on that day, you weren't there. I searched all over the garden and deep in the woods. I did it day after day, but you had gone. Totally vanished. I couldn't find you anywhere. It was Mother's idea to construct the grave for you after Father said you had run away. And by the look on her face, it was as if she knew she was hiding something when she agreed with him. Now I know what she had kept hidden, that she had saved you and kept you safe all this time. Um, yes. And I was never harmed, only hidden. Just waiting for the last right moment to reunite with you. The bunny knows something. We're together now, and nothing's going to split us up ever again. Oh, Dink, you are a sight for sore eyes. You're right. I'm never leaving your side. Nice. Dink acquired. Are you sure you're real? I'm finding it all hard to take in. Yes, I'm your living and breathing bunny, bae. Made from flesh, blood, and a lot of bones. And I'm so happy to be with you again. Thanks, Dink. It's just hard for me to grasp what's going on. There are so many weird things happening all at once. There was that demonic dancing doll, a haunted answer phone message tell me to find the time to do something, and ghosts in the mirrors and windows and scare are scaring me half to death. What's more, half the doors in the house are either locked or jammed. And to, to top it all off, I've been accused of committing murder. Although I'm still in two minds about whether someone is just playing a trick with me about that, it's not my idea of a funny joke. There's much more going on than you realize, but I can help you. Although there are many strange forces at work, I think we can use some of them to our advantage. We do need to be careful, though. I sense that something unnatural is drawing closer to us. Towards us. By the way, the end of my nose is tingling. It sniffs out danger. But first, we need to find the time travel plant. The what? The time travel plant, along with the house itself, was left to your mother when your grandmother passed away. And when you find it, it will be yours. When it's enchanted, it gives one the opportunity to travel through time. But I don't think we can leave the house, not here and now, at the present moment. We need to find the right time to go. And to do that, we will need the time travel. By shifting our physical presence in time, we could cause confusion among the strange forces that may be around us, making our escape that much easier. You see, without your mother physically here, this house is not entirely safe anymore. Well, considering the way my day's been go going so far, I'm not inclined to question your logic or to doubt the seriousness of your warning, Stink. So we'll be able to travel forward into the future and back into the past? Oh, so now I think I understand what the answer phone machine message must have meant. Do you know where the thine plant could be? Your mother would have taken it to the forethought to have it hidden in plain sight. Just in case you needed to get your hands on it quickly. But you have to want it to see it first before you can find it. When you do, it'll be in a room where you can easily find it. We should also get some supplies from the shed at the bottom of the garden. There are two bottles of plant spray we could use. We won't be going anywhere if we can't haven't got them both. Alright. Let's go, bunny. You're so useful, Dink. Even though I think you're doing something very awful. Bay, this way. We need to pick up some magical last items that will be essential for our mission. But the gate is open. I can get into the woods. Let's listen to Dink. No, no, no. I didn't say go over there. I said go up. Something or s someone or something doesn't want me to leave. Dink is right. I don't seem to be able to leave right now in the present moment. Well, I'm trying to get up there. Come on, this way. Look who's being a bossy bunny. It's all right, Dink. I'm coming. I've never seen him like this before. Granted, he's never been able to speak, but I'm awfully glad that he can. 
You must be very concerned about me. I love that loyal little bunny with all my heart. This is a trap. Dink is evil. Evil. It's like Pet Cemetery. <laughs> oh, he has a transmission over there somehow. Future. Historic. One makes us go back and one makes us go forward. This is going to be a very confusing game. Time travel is always hard for me. All right, let's go, Dink. Dink doesn't want to move. This game's really well animated, though. When she talks, it's animated. When anybody talks, it's animated. It's pretty nice. It's really well done. Let's go, Dink. Dink doesn't move too much, so. All right, we got our two spray bottles. Now we need thyme. It's time to duel. There comes Dink. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait for me. You talked me into it, Dink. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 Satan. Dink, what's going on? Who are they? Dink? Dink! You must come with us. We are your true family. You don't belong here. The boy, you destroyed him. We can't allow what you did. Dink, what do they mean? What do they want? What's happening to you, Dink? Oh, God. What have you done to Dink? He is one of us. No, I don't believe you. Dink? Oh, God. Dink! Son! Chill. Uh-oh. Bad bunny. Oh, she changed him. Ha-ha! You heard what she said. Leave her alone. You are not welcome in this house. Get out! This is not over. <laughs> what in the world is going on, son? Okay. Well, that's not natural. Yeah, let's act like nothing happened, Dink. Mm-hmm. Scratch that little face. So, uh, is there anything you want to share with me? Any little thing you might have noticed that's a bit, a tiny bit out of the ordinary? Um, hmm. I mean, that was seriously cool. I didn't know you could do that. You weren't at all scared? Scared? You're my family, Deke. I know you'd never even try to hurt me. You're the only constant in my life that I can rely on, and I know you believe in me. If anything, I'm seriously impressed. I guess Mother had a few tricks up her sleeve when she enchanted you. Ha! Huh. Dink Blast! Pew pew! So, no, of course I wasn't scared of you in the slightest. I was amazed you could do that. Thank you for protecting me. Erm... Um, I haven't told you everything I know. I didn't think you'd cope with it well, but I was wrong to assume that. I'm sorry. Listen, those three shadows, I knew they were close to us. My nose picked up their dank scent when we were in the garden. But I just didn't realize how quickly they would travel. You see, they represent you, your father, and mother, and your father. I fear that whatever happened yesterday has allowed them to manifest, triggering their arrival somehow. They're not going to stop following us, so we must keep moving. You, their essence reeks of rotting flesh. It makes no sense. How can they represent my parents and me? This must be some form of dark magic. Maybe I use dark magic, but I don't know any dark magic, so that can't be right. Maybe the cryptic message in the email meant that it's those shadows who are coming after me and not the police at all. But who is this missing boy I keep hearing about? They said I destroyed him. I'd never do such a thing. 
I know you wouldn't, Bay, and you have it. Honestly, I don't know who he might be. But we're going to have to find that out if you we're going to solve this problem and set you free from the shadows. There's a chat bubble. This is the most magical room in the house. Your mother enchanted me on this very table. So I'd be ready to handle any situation that could compromise your safety. I knew she took after great-grandmother in that aspect. You know, she was so proficient with her herbs, potions, and weird, other weird stuff, so you're magical too, are you, Dink? Yes, I suppose I am. So let's talk about time travel. Is it safe? I mean, I won't end up with all my DNA scrambled or my head re reattached my elbow or anything. No, nothing quite that exciting will happen to you, Bay. It's perfectly safe. Don't worry. But remember, an activation enchantment spell needs time to, to be cast before this magic will work. Okay, Dink. As soon as I've done everything I need to do in here, we'll be able to leave. Yes, do hurry, though. Okay. Okay. What do we need? Is there anything we can interact with here? No. Not yet. I don't even know what time looks like. Okay. Let's go, Dean. Next room. Where's the time? Dink. Mother used the kitchen. Oh, I was clicked something on accident. No, I'm not feeling. Where's Dink at? Why did Mother paint the painting of Witherington in? Although it appears on the surface to be nothing more than a painting, there's actually an element of her magic mixed in with the oil plants which adds a layer of protection in the house. All of the art hanging on the walls has it, but its power isn't strong enough to shield you from danger completely. Because she didn't have the time to cast a truly robust protection spell before she had to leave in a hurry. Is the magic intended to protect me from those shadows? And was she able to foresee that she'd end up where she is? It's a very strange and menacing looking building to want to paint, let alone to hang on the wall. I should find her and get her out of there. I'm sure she'll know why I can't remember anything. She started making meticulous preparations a long time ago. In case the house ever became an unsafe place, and she wasn't around to protect you from danger, it's danger. But Witherton End is not exactly a safe place either, so it's best for you to stay as far away from that place as possible. Once you're outside the inside these wall, those walls, it's unlikely that you'd ever leave. The security there is out of this world, and I mean literally. But why did she go? Why didn't Father do something to stop her? It's so strange. What did she do that was so bad? Every time I walk past that picture, I feel a sharp pain that strikes deep in the pit in my stomach. It's exactly the same way I used to feel every time I walk past your, your grave and thought I'd lost you forever. Maybe she wants me to find her, Deke. Maybe I can get her out of there. I don't think your father had much choice in the matter. It really isn't your average hospital bay. It's a terrible, treacherous place. If there were any way she could be with you, she would be. Believe me. Please, Bay, you mustn't go there. It's far too dangerous. But how come you know all this when I don't? Is there anything else that I should know? Well, I used to spend a lot of time with Esme, your mother, when you were at school. She went to a lot of effort to prepare me in case she might ever need my help. I know that she was considering using dark magic to protect you, but she promised me she wouldn't do that. Because the risk is too great, and I believed her, and I still do. Bay, I know you feel that... I know that I felt a part of you disappear yesterday, but the truth is that it wasn't really a part of you in the first place. I can't explain it, it's just a feeling I had. Even so, you seem somewhat stronger now. I don't know what you did or where you were yesterday, but whatever it was, it allowed those shadows to manifest themselves, and it took to take up visible forms. They may look harmless, but they are dangerously powerful parasites. We have to leave before they catch up with us. But mother could help. I wish you were here with us now. There must be something I can do. 
Keeping her safe is my priority, and it's what your mother would have wanted. She what told me to keep you as far as possible from Witherington End as, pos as possible. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Where will we go then? My instincts are telling me to go back into the woods and find something I hid there before we do anything else. It's something important, and even though I don't know what I expect, I can expect to find, I know that I have to go there and look for it. Alright, let's go there, Bay. And I know someone who can help us, although we are only allowed to see him if he formally invites us. I'm hoping that in the near or perhaps in the distant future, he'll send us a sign. But r until then, let's just try to get out of this house. Okay, I guess we have a plan of action. I still think we should go look for Mother, but I trust you. I'm not going to argue with you. Thank you, Bay. You lead the way. Hmm, it's Jam. Maybe Father's in here and wants some privacy. Hi, Plant. How's it hanging? <laughs> Not very talkative, are you? Considering other inanimate objects we have around the house have started speaking, and that you're actually a living organism, I'm surprised, if not quite relieved, that you're not talking back to me. Just so you know, I've read that John Wyndham book, so I'm keeping an eye on you, just in case. Uh-oh. I'll assume by that enthusiastic shake that you're doing just fine. there I don't know nothing is happening it broke again uh, I already read that is there anything else I can interact with in here no I wonder if hitting that button made the door open. What's up? I already talked to him about this. Ah, this was such a long dialogue! Shut up, Dink! Damn. Is there a way to skip? What's up, bunny? It's locked, and it has been for a long time. As long as I can remember. I know that Mother used to keep changing the place where she hid the key. I've never found it, nor has Father. No, it's locked. I'm not allowed in there. Not Father's study. I'm sure the base isn't meant to wiggle like that. As long as the... As, and those flames look fake, but at least they haven't burned down the house. Now that's weird. How did you manage to get back in here so quickly? Hmm. I'm missing something. Time to travel! We found it! That was easy. God, I'm glad I know to backtrack in these games. It's a hard lesson to learn in video games. I knew you could find it, Bay. Huh, that weird shadow has vanished now. I guess it was here all along. Nice. It definitely wasn't, but we found it. Hooray. 
Hmm, I don't remember having worn this dress before, but I like it. I do have a, get a strange feeling that I've seen it somewhere before, though. Okay, we should be able to go outside the house now. What we do is we take the thyme, we put it on the table, we mix it with some future juice or past juice, some kind of juice. No, God! Please! Dig, no! This is where we do the magic. Mama say, Mama saw, Mama saw, son. There's some writing on the pot. Time to travel. I wonder if it works. Yes. Okay. And then. Let's go into the past first. Can we go past first? It will read some historic reed killer. This smells like, hmm, let me guess, radioactive oranges mixed with, um, burning hair. Yuck. So we can use the future when we can. Future Miracle Grow. Small print has become faded and difficult to read, but I think I can smell a hint of lavender. Maybe some notes of something less pleasant, too. To tell the truth, it stinks a bit like a, the decomposing mouse I once found in that toy cabinet. I swear Daphne was smiling that day. I'm not trying to read it, I'm trying to use it. <laughs> I'm not spraying that, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be used on an enchanted... That's what... That is the plant. Please, am I just not getting on there correctly? The f oh, please. What do you mean? There we go. I didn't. Apparently, I don't need a spray yet. I just needed to read the page to do the magic. Oh, I think it worked, Dink. Dink, it worked. Looks like we're ready to time travel. <laughs> okay. Okay, do I want to go future? Still won't spray it, I bet. Oh, there we go. The flavor. I don't know why. You gotta use the spell first. Typical point and click. You can't do things out of order. That bunny is looking. They're all looking straight at me. This is disturbing. Hey, magic. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. That's a big freaking bug. The world has ended, and plants have grown and ran amok. Yay. Thank you for playing the fr farming game. Framing Dawes demo, and for helping me to try to recover my missing memories. Yes, thank you for joining us. We hope you'll enjoy episode one, Time to Leave, which is coming in 2020. If you have your very own time travel plant, you can play it now. Ha <laughs> ha! That was cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get the Daphne thing, so I can edit it into the video. Uh, we'll let the credits play first. But yeah, this was a really cool game, and it's not too hard for a point and click. Um, it is particular in order like usual, but we'll let the credits play through. And again, if you like the video, I always appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe. But I appreciate you just watching anyways, even if you don't want to. This was a cool game though. I really like how everything was so animate when you like talked and interacted with things. And it's like pretty interesting. I want to know what happens, so I'm excited for the rest of it. Dink. Yes, door. Devil. Am I? Am I innocent? It's got its own song. Let's go. I can't remember what happened. Haha, <laughs> my you voice is nothing like theirs. Your life depends <laughs> on it. <laughs> Why didn't they talk in the game if they could talk in the song? <laughs> this is toxic.
Have you seen this boy? Hypno goat, acorn nettle, acorn nettle's not a weird enough game name. <laughs> That's the one that stands out for me. All right, guys. Well, let's see if it's the true end. Yeah.